Well, the first thing you do is you get a baseline on your players uh, when it comes to their mental capacities. Uh, there's a lot of research about concussion uh, that continues to, to come our way medically. Well, we are at the front of everything when it comes to sports medical research. We have great doctors, we have a great trainer in Hap Zarzor. So we get a baseline and we any, any doubt, we test a player and if a guy's got a concussion, then he is held out until he can get back to that baseline. We have a real standard that we use. So it's never one of those on the sideline, yeah, he looks okay. Uh, there's research behind it. The other thing is, is the headgear we wear, we are state of the art. We have the best equipment known to football, but not only that, we have a, we have a training room and an equipment room staff that know exactly how you fit a helmet uh, and if they're properly fitted, which oftentimes is the error that occurs, if they're properly fitted, it reduces the chance for any kind of head trauma tremendously. So great headgear, uh, great help in fitting the helmet, and then great care for the young men if some injury does occur. Well, I think it's pretty neat when we talk about genetic research, uh, we're, we're talking about ways to try to prevent injuries. We're talking about maybe ways we can learn to, to train and lift and condition a player uh, more streamlined to his needs. These DNA markers tell us something. We all know that. It's relatively new, but uh, when, when, when I found out this was going on at Duke, I was elated. You know, what a way to try to find an advantage. So we're right there step by step following what uh, Hunt Willard's doing, following what the, the, the significance of uh, the DNA testing is going to mean to us in athletics. So I think you'll see Duke University right at the forefront of that. And if Duke can't do it, who could? Uh, science, medicine, and athletics, that's a good mix at Duke.